people are looking for a way to get ahead in their life. So they need to do something different. So they need to uh, essentially reboot their lives, essentially come up with a new set of skills to do things in the future that they hadn't done before. I, I needed to find um, an alternate route or some sort of other you know, career you know, in order to just keep, in order to grow. I had a great career in what I was doing, sales, marketing. I, you know, I was eight years with the company, I was doing very well, but I didn't feel complete doing it. You know, I wasn't, I didn't feel, I felt like I was missing something. I wanted to learn a trade that was actually very, very useful and very in high demand. Virtually everything that we're creating in the tech world right now is, is requiring more and more coders in the background to make it all work. There's uh, basically tons of jobs out there and not enough developers. The demand for coders is not going to get smaller anytime soon. It's only going to expand. That's where the true opportunity is. One million computer programming jobs are un go unfilled every year. But for somebody who's just starting out as a beginner, there's not that many options. Da Vinci Coders is one of those places where you can learn those skills and get a foot in the door in the software development world and, and start your career paths. My name is John Williams. Came to Da Vinci Coders with zero experience. So first day of class was uh, drinking from the fire hose. As a new programmer, we heard the phrase uh, drinking from the fire hose. You know, and now we completely understand the expression. I was worried that I wasn't going to understand what was going on, which was normal. I think a lot of people didn't understand what was going on at first. I would compare it to learning a foreign language from scratch. In the business, we will get stuck all the time. The, the thing you have to learn how to do is how to get unstuck. You have to be able to solve problems. You know, we, we dove into some pretty challenging problems. It was all very challenging. I mean, 11 weeks is a very short period of time to learn to really get out there in the career field as far as software development. The class and including the instructor, you know, everybody's been phenomenal as far as supportive. Uh, we have some of the best instructors in the world. Both Daniel and Jason are just excellent. I have been teaching for a long time. I, I started teaching uh, Ruby on Rails classes in Atlanta, Georgia, probably uh, six or seven years ago now. I ask something five or six times, like, I still don't get this, but he's really nice. He's, he never gets mad. He's like, oh, you know, maybe I'll explain it a different way. And I love, uh, you know, seeing them get it for the first time. The opportunity came up to TA a class here and being able to share that with people and connect the dots, you know, because I know what it's like to be stuck on the things they were stuck on. Take a deep breath and, and work through it because it's definitely possible and, you know, once you start working through it, it's, you know, it's an addiction. You just start wanting to work through everything. It's fun to work on a team and problem solve. That's really the main thing that got me into computer programming. You're kind of eating, sleeping, and breathing coding with this same group of people. You get to know them very well. So I think we're all pretty close even. On Saturdays we have longer class, so we have lunch, and we pretty much always go out to lunch together. Kelly just celebrated her birthday over the weekend, and we had a cake brought in, and you know, we all had cake. The students in the class, it's a pretty small class. You know, I think I have maybe 10 or 11 people in my class, and we were a really close group by the end. It's a nice little family, you know, it's a nice, you know, it feels comfortable to learn. The students that we're most interested in are the ones that are, are very passionate and are very driven. Um, they're very determined to reboot their lives. I just took the leap. I mean, I took a big risk. That's what it was. It's, it's taking a risk. It's leaving job security. They're driven. They, you know, answer questions. They know when to ask questions. When you work through something and it starts working, it feels good, like really good. Beyond all the other talk, you know, it's number one is just career change. Needed something new, new opportunity, and this is definitely the industry to be in. Wow, there's a million open jobs for this. I can, I can do this. There's just so much opportunity out there. I'm now doing computer programming all day. I'm, I'm doing Ruby on Rails and HTML and CSS and JavaScript and all of that sort of stuff. I felt like I was missing something. You know, I'll tell you, when I started developing, I stopped feeling that way. I ended up working at a company called Converge, and I've been a developer ever since. The software engineering industry allows you to 
build tomorrows. You get to create something new and when you're done you can actually see it and you can watch it perform and function and it's really a thing of beauty. You don't know how to do this but I'm going to teach you and you're going to go out and change the world.